All right, on this problem, we're being asked about the graph of a sine function. So before I graph the sine of x over 100 and analyze that, let's just remind ourselves what the graph of the sine of x looks like. The sine of x has a period of 2 pi, therefore this intercept is 2 pi. Consequently, this intercept is pi, and this local maximum, which the problem is asking us ultimately about local maxima, would therefore occur at pi over 2. But remember, this is the graph of sine x. We're interested in the graph of sine x over 100. Well, the graph of sine x over 100 would be a horizontal stretch. It would be a transformation of the sine graph. Every point on this graph would stretch out away from the y-axis by a factor of 100. And Rather than redrawing a, an extremely stretched graph and trying to get some kind of scaling here, it would make more sense to just rescale the x-axis. That would be effectively like a horizontal stretch without physically stretching the appearance of the graph. So in particular, these three points, these three x values will stretch out. And if we simply multiply those by 100, we now have the graph of y equals sine x over 100. After applying that horizontal stretch by rescaling my x-axis, that shows me that of all the infinitely many local maxima in quadrant one, this nearest, this one nearest to the origin would of course be 50 pi comma one. And that completes this problem.